Jimmy Kimmel took a three-month break from his late-night show amid growing criticism for his racial insensitivity. He issued a belated apology on his way out the door, but was it sufficient? The answer coming up. Here's the scoop. Nearly a year and a half ago, video surfaced showing Jimmy Kimmel wearing blackface while impersonating former Utah Jazz power forward Carl Malone. The video set off a firestorm, but Kimmel refused to acknowledge the controversy until audio emerged of him just a few weeks ago repeatedly using the N-word. Now, Kimmel has finally issued an apology of sorts. Explaining his Malone impersonation, he said, we hired makeup artists to make me look as much like Carl Malone as possible. I never considered that this might be seen as anything other than an imitation of a fellow human being. Okay, well, fair enough. That seems plausible. Kimmel did something dignified, something honoring Malone, nothing that could be construed as perpetuating negative racial stereotypes, right? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Come a read on TV about white people getting deducted by alien, sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And that's a damn thing. Now, Carl Malone never seen no flying saucer himself, but if he do, that's going to be a spooky time. Uh, yeah, that's just jaw-dropping. So, Kimmel viewed his impersonation as nothing other than an imitation of a fellow human being? Seriously? With a minstrel-style dialect? Now, I'm one of the first to say that the cancel culture is just nuts. Oklahoma college coach Mike Gundy was recently forced to apologize and surrender a million dollars off his contract for wearing a cable network t-shirt one of his players objected to, just to keep his job. Megan Kelly lost her morning show on NBC for saying that when she was a little girl, it wasn't considered racist for a white to put on black makeup so long as they were playing a character. What Jimmy Kimmel did was much worse. He's worn blackface repeatedly and over many years. But he still has his Jimmy Kimmel live show. This isn't just a double standard, it's much worse. If bigotry had degrees as murder does, Kimmel committed first degree bigotry. It was premeditated, it was planned, and he did it over and over. And the troubling thing is that no one thought to advise him against it. Not a director, not a script writer, not a camera operator, not the makeup artist, not even an executive at CBS owned Comedy Central, which aired his man show. In his apology, Kimmel said, I believe I've evolved and matured over the last 20 plus years. Well, fair enough. It's certainly true that people can change over time. We all make mistakes and deserve, at least I believe, a chance at redemption. Jesus tells us in Luke 17, 3, if your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. If they repent, forgive them. The problem is Jimmy Kimmel doesn't appear to have repented at all. In 2004, during the halftime uh, of Game 2 of the NBA Championship, Kimmel said he was glad the Lakers were leading because, quote, they're going to burn the city of Detroit down if the Pistons win, and it's just not worth it. And then in 2013, he included a bit on his show where a child joked that all Chinese people should be killed to help erase the U.S. national debt. He said, there's an idea. Kimmel remains as immature as ever. He began his apology saying, I have long been reluctant to address this, as I knew that doing so would be viewed as a sign of weakness and cheer for leaders who use prejudice to divide us. Dude, come on. What are you, for? I'm not going to apologize for something I did wrong because that's what Billy wants me to do. You were the one who used prejudice to divide us. It wasn't your conservative critics who wore blackface, Jimmy. You wore it. You liberal, virtue-signaling hypocrite. You should at least be held to the same standard you want to hold others. Remember your sympathy for Roseanne when your network canceled her? Let's take a look. Of terrible things posted online, the biggest story of the day today was Roseanne. Uh, Roseanne... <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but she tweeted something outrageous. 
I know, yeah, right. Firing Jimmy Kimmel for his offensive impersonation of Malone seems to be, well, a slam dunk. But that's not good enough. For at least a year and a half, management at Disney, Disney, ABC's parent company, have known about his bigoted behavior but have done nothing about it. In fact, they've tried to cover it up. Over a year ago, Justin Danhoff of our Free Enterprise Project directly confronted then-Disney CEO Bob Iger over Kimmel's repeated promotion of negative racial stereotypes. Iger said Disney considered it a private matter. Jimmy Kimmel offended millions of Americans, black, white, Hispanic, and Asian, in public, and yet Bob Iger said it was a private matter. Iger is supposed to serve as Disney's chairman until mid-next year, but he should be forced into early retirement along with Kimmel. Our Free Enterprise Project holds corporate CEOs accountable for undermining freedom and free enterprise and for betraying the public trust. You can help us by donating today at nationalcenter.org backslash donate. And that's the scoop.